Hey guys, my name is Mr. Sharp. I'm the owner of Dreams Gone Mobile, and today we're gonna to be talking about my first YouTube video. So make sure if you wanna check out all my future videos that you hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for all the cool things when it comes to the food truck industry. I'm Puerto Rican Colombian. I was born and raised here in Tampa, Florida moved to New York for a little bit after I graduated, came back and started a food truck business. A little bit about me and what I do. I license food trucks and I help people pass inspection. I am currently married, happily married. I have three beautiful baby boys. Well, they're my babies. Uh, and yeah, I, uh, I love to eat, I love food. I love to work out when I'm not lazy but ultimately I pick food over working out any day of the week. How I got started in this business was because of my parents basically. My mom and dad had their own restaurant way before I was born and then probably around between three to five years old is when they shut down their restaurant and got into the restaurant industry where they were doing all the like walk-in coolers, building out restaurants and making a whole bunch of kitchens. The cool thing too was I got to see all of that in the back end. So I got to learn a lot about the restaurant restaurant industry. My mom, she cooks fire. Like she is the best of the best. Um, she is a chef or was a chef by the time. So I got into that and I think I really like just follow that passion naturally. It was hard for me to kind of accept that because I'm like, mm, do I see myself doing this? Probably not. But I did actually get into the food truck industry um, and start my own food truck business where I am now renting it. So um, I kind of got into it with the passion of my parents. And then when food trucks became a thing, back in like 08, I want to say, they got into that too, because the concept was essentially the same thing. So building a restaurant is almost the same thing as building a kitchen in a mobile kitchen. So I started learning about that, the codes, the licensing, and all that stuff. My mom was like, hey, you definitely need to make this a business, because people don't know anything about the licensing and the process. So some of the paperwork that a lot of clients will deal with is the LLC, trying to register that, registering the tax ID, and then also registering like your sales tax certificate. And that's just the basic stuff to essentially just start your business. It's not even the food truck industry, it's just your business in general. So a lot of my clients, they don't know how to do it right, or they'll hire someone like LegalZoom and pay like $600, and then there's like a month to month fee. When you can just go through me, I do everything for you, and it's like a one set time fee for you. Some other documents that a lot of clients don't know how to do um, is the licensing portion of the food truck. So there are different documents that you have to fill out and complete. And then also there's a floor plan. And a lot of people don't realize this, but you gotta make sure you have an actual floor plan and a design layout that you can submit to the state where it has to be approved first prior to even operating your food truck. Once you've passed inspection, then you can go ahead and operate your food truck the same day. So a lot of the struggles that people um, do deal with is essentially sketching it out or completing something you know, that they don't know how to complete or there's certain verbiages on there like wastewater tank or freshwater tank or how many gallons or what is the type of material you're using for your ceiling or um, different things um, that's on the application that people don't know how to answer, um, like the size of a water heater or your water tank. So. Um, essentially, they just need assistance with that. They don't know how to do it or they can't look at it and say, hey, this is whatever size water tank or this type of water heater. Just simple things like that. So what I do is I go ahead and verify those things with the builder. I also go in and with myself, do a pre-inspection. And um, ultimately, I just kind of make the process smoother for them so they're not feeling all antsy or anxiety or overwhelmed, which is one of the main things that a lot of people deal with is just the overwhelming feeling of, doing something wrong or are they gonna do it correctly, whatever the case is. Think of me as your business advocate, someone who can kind of just take over the whole paperwork and I get connected with the builder, I make sure the builder's on point with everything, I make sure you're up to code with everything. If there's anything missing, I communicate with the builder, make sure we have a time frame as to when we're finishing. Definitely more than just a consultant and consulting you, more of so just taking over for you, just 
so that you can just kind of sit back and relax and just know that everything is gonna be okay using Dreams Gone Mobile. Now granted, you don't need me in order to start a food truck business and you don't need me to do the paperwork for you. However, if something happens, then that's on you. But at the same time, if you hire me, I give you that security. And a lot of people need that. A lot of people need that security and they need that reassurance that I'm hiring you, I got you, and you got me, we're gonna work in this together and just make sure that your whole process is as smooth as possible. So just having that like business advocate or someone there to kind of lead you in the right direction is always needed and always necessary in my end because I feel like some people don't have that or they don't have that support. And so I do love that. I love the fact that I'm able to educate people and also be there for people emotionally. I don't think it's just like a business for me. I think it's something that I've developed passion over the years and just seeing people pass inspection and get emotional and like be happy like that brings me like so much emotion like I get so excited so it kind of like fills up my cup so that's definitely one of the reasons why I got into that industry. So what you're gonna find on this channel on Dreams Gone Mobile is all my clients' testimonial for sure because I want you to see the experience and the happiness that they endure during the entire inspection process. Definitely, of course, if we're gonna be in the food truck industry, we gotta eat. So we gotta visit our clients and we gotta check out other food trucks that are open. Even if I haven't dealt with them firsthand, I do love visiting other food trucks and seeing what, what's out there because I feel like there's not enough food I know so it's crazy, but there's not enough different kinds of foods. And then kind of educating you guys, right? Letting you guys know what it takes to start a food truck business and um, knowing the process of what it takes to get started. And just from the beginning to the end of having that whole idea of the food truck and where to step in, what to do, and how to get started. That's the importance of everything in this industry anyways, right? Getting everything done right and how to get started. So you'll be learning more about that on this channel.